Hey, Lawrence. Hi, guys. Hi, Anna. How is everybody? I am fine. I hope all of you are fine at home too. Check out the link underneath the video for more description. All of the tactical positions we're seeing on this side right now, you will see in the Chess Space News article, because you, Lawrence, have found some beautiful, nice tactics for all of us again. It's time to work mm. out. Yes, and today, um, you know, we've been doing this theme for, for many weeks now, actually, many months. Yes. Uh, where we're looking at famous grandmasters and some of their tactics from their games. And today we're going to talk about a grandmaster, which I'll be surprised if you know this GM. He's not that well known, but he was definitely in that group of, in my opinion, underrated uh, grandmasters for his time. Okay. Um, and that is the Grandmaster Vladimir Simajin from uh, from Moscow, from Russia. Okay. Now, he died. He was born in 1919, and he died in 1968. So he died a long time ago. Yes. Did get very he old. Was, yeah, he, would, he was not old at all. He was, what was he, 50? Not even, right? Mm. 49, 50. He died of a heart attack mid-tournament. That's oh. how people kind of know. Well, that's his his story. He died of a heart attack during tournament. That's which is like, like the cowboy dying in the shootout. That's exactly. uh, yeah. If it's a passion of your life, then probably yeah, that's the way how exactly. you leave. Or on stage when you're an actor. Yeah. Oh, what a pity. Um, okay, but I yeah, heard the name. I heard the name once. You know twice. the name. Yeah. Okay, he was three times uh, Moscow champion. He was a grandmaster. And with ratings adjusted, they sort of gave him a rating of over 2,600 for his time. So he was definitely... Strong. You know, extremely strong. Mm -hmm. And he was also a teacher um, for uh, for a lot of uh, for a lot of years. Okay. Okay. Um, he trained with Smyslov and, and various others, and he was a very creative, bold player. So he was a very imaginative kind of player, and he was considered an expert tactician. Mm. And the first, and the first position we're going to look at is one of his most classic positions, right? Okay. Now, this is the game. So imagine against Bronstein from 1947 Moscow, white to play. All right. And we have a really interesting position here, right? Because the situation is black is threatening to queen on the next move. And we as white, yeah, we've got a, a for the moment, a bishop and two pawns, but it's like, you know, how are we supposed to stop this queen or what else so this is actually a reasonably tough first one normally i give you a very easy <laughs> first one, this is a reasonably tough first one so it's why to play what to do okay that is the question for you at home you can always stop the video of course and check it for your own because we need to get this <laughs> tactical muscles in and train 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 and mm -hmm. as uh, lawrence always says if you really want to advance uh, mm. half an hour a day. So there we go. And if you don't do at it least. half an hour a day, then do it here at least. So we can yep. build up more and more patterns in our head and get better at those tactics. Good. So we All have, right. we have uh, several different uh, ways to give a check with the queen. And it probably depends on which spot it is to give the best check maybe so we absolutely should be looking for the checks first so the question is you know we give the checks do that what do they achieve yeah so also we see one thing right from the start that the black king cannot get out of this little cage the bishop on c1 takes control mm -hmm. of h6 mm -hmm. and the pawn takes control of g6 for mm -hmm. now so we could we have a draw that's the good news but we okay. can do better <laughs> right so that's clear so we have a draw if we that's a little careful actually i can see one line where if we're a little 
careless, we can actually lose. We do not have a draw. Why? Because the queen can go in between if the king goes. Ah, that's exactly so maybe, what I would yeah. say, right? Is that, yeah, well, maybe because you've got this check on f6, right? But yes, I was trying to illustrate that this check here would be a huge blunder because of the surprising queen's g8 check. But is and it? Yeah, that is uh, that is a check. That's the problem. That's yeah. check. <laughs> it's all over. I'm queening the next move. So we do have to be a little bit careful here with white. Okay. 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 So okay. now, if we okay, so <laughs> let's get through all the checks first. C8. Okay. But actually, okay. yeah. Okay. Let's go go for that. Good, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll bin that. I one. wonder. I wonder if any check on the eighth row is really helping. If the king goes to h7 and then h8 in the next move, and then we have this queen check on g8. So okay, let's go for e e8. Queen e8. Okay, check. I will go king. Let's say g7. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, g7 presents actually. An interesting opportunity that I've just noticed here, actually. Mm -hmm. What opportunity does that mm. offer? Oh, we could. My oh, yes, that is nice. So we give a check on h6 with the bishop. Yeah, now we can give a check on h6, which I didn't actually fully understand. But probably the king just goes to h7 now. Yeah, the king does go to h7, but just to illustrate yeah. for people at home the reason we want to do this. Because now we have the very clever check. Finally, we skewer the king. And of course, now we take the queen and prevent h1 queen. So we can just go king h7. And now I guess the problem is we've only got one check, right? We've got, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we have, yeah, we have. One well, we check. have two checks. The king goes and takes h6. And now this threat is maybe gone we give a check on f6 we still have a draw right yeah you know. yeah yeah that is true but that's not enough that's not enough okay so so i'm wondering really if the checks on the last row are good enough but then i also wonder yeah let's see so queen um okay but yeah because the king will go to g7 anyway queen to e6 check let's see how this will right. work out I'm just going to do the same thing, King to Yeah, H7. that is actually really annoying. Mm. Because once we take the pawn, for example, the h1 will be a queen and then it's over for white. Well, it's still a draw, actually, right? Is ah, it? No, actually, no, no, I no, don't no, think no. So. no, no, I don't think so. Actually, I was just curious. I, this is me just thinking, like, if you do block, does can white hold this? <laughs> I is there some const constellation now we have a big where this is a draw yeah we have a big problem that our bishop is attacked uh, right now and then I think yeah. black will get another pawn yeah and there's some queen d5 check which is yeah so if we go here and something... yeah and the king is too close I, I mean queen could just go to f3 maybe right or I think king c2 might be the only move I see but then the queen goes to e4. Queen takes oh, f5. God, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's yeah. not falling no. apart. No, I don't think it holds. And, and the black right. king is too close, too. Yeah. So if it would be on h1, that would be a different thing. Hmm. So, so there must so, be something far more crazier or cleverer. So what happens after bishop h6? Bishop h6. Yeah. So your idea here is... I have no idea uh, yet, unfortunately. I actually don't. Doesn't think... actually threaten anything, right? No. That's the problem. So I just make. It I had one super initial idea, which is the bishop to e3, and then okay. going to after the queening, going to c5. But there is a check, which is so annoying. It's on d. No, it's not on d1. Oh, okay, okay, forget it. Okay, so yeah. then it must be something crazy because that is. Um... You're on the right path. So we're we're saying at the moment we've tried the checks and we didn't get anywhere, yeah. right? But 
we start with the checks. Okay. And, and I cannot find any threads, which is uh, very right. annoying too. And we cannot take any pieces. So now, after we have checked all of those things, this is where my fourth rule comes in. It has to be something crazy. <laughs> the fourth rule often is correct as well, that it's something a bit crazier. Yes, yeah. that's true. So, yeah, I also, I mean, this main idea you had that we can maybe convert with. So thinking about a four would be very crazy. It's too, it's not working. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Work. No, we need to do some, clearly it's still a position where we can't go completely insane. We need to do something proactive. And you will get there by process of elimination. Okay, let me think for a short moment. Also for you okay. at home, please okay. take a look. Mm. Very, very funky. It is very, very funky. You're right. Well, let's try something absolutely crazy, which is Bishop G5. Now, so for one, but I'm only, right? I'm only seeing that I think it doesn't work that the pawn takes. Okay, so if the pawn takes then we can just move the pawn forward and threaten checkmate. And I think this should be enough. Right. It's clearly enough. Black has got no checks. And there's, this is just inevitable. I mean, if you go here, obviously, I can just yeah. do this. But, uh -huh. okay. but there's two other options, of course, which is, first right. of all, you can either take with the queen or you can just get a queen. I guess. All right, let's say we take with the queen. And there's even more options. You can also move with the king. So here I'm still like, okay, now it's our... Oh, yeah, it is working. It is working. I uh -huh. didn't see how to get the pawn. So it is a queen check on c8. And king goes anywhere up? Yeah, and the queen gives a check on c7, and we get the pawn, which is our ticket to winning, I think. Well, I mean, this is, you know... This will still require some technique, but you've got three pawns against one. Um, you've got the move. This has to be a winning position. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, fair enough. Um, right. That was where I, why I was thinking a bit too long, because I didn't see that immediately. But now we still have to think about what happens if they get a queen. Right. So, what if they get a queen? Um, okay, this is working because our bishop blocks g5, the, the, the line on g5. So with mm -hmm. our queen going, giving a check on e8 and then okay, on g6, queen. um, whatever the king does, right? So here, and then we can give a check mate with the bishop. Beautiful. But what if the king goes to g7? Also a check on g6, I think. All right, king f8. A queen f6 check. If the king goes so I, I have to there, go to yeah. g8. King, uh, queen g... Wait, g... Mm. There must be a way. It looks as if we cannot lose this, but how is the best thing? So uh, g6 check, I guess. King f8. Qu uh, bishop h6. E7. And now E6. King D8. Oh, come on. Kind of running away here. Damn it. Okay, right. wait. Uh, there must be something different. Well, but, but that has to be correct, right? I mean, so far well, with the bishop. It's definitely correct. I just clearly. have to so find... We, okay, good. <laughs> we just need to find the clean route here. Good. After H1 equals queen. But you're spot on. Well, so yeah, we were at. Um, what about Queen D8 check then? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, no, you, this is correct. Yeah. But there must just be something different. Is it? No, it's not. Hmm. Well, I thought you just said the move, actually. That's the funny thing. Ah, uh, D8 check? Yeah, Queen D8 check, right? The point being that, well, if the king comes to f7, let's say, yeah, you can now dance on the light squares, queen d7 check. And if king g8, you go queen e8 check. And the point is, if here finally now you use this pawn, right? Oh. And similar kind of okay idea yeah and the same thing if if this happens you eventually just make sure you check on e8 gotcha and we already know that this is made like this yes oops sorry uh so he has to uh go to g7 and then once again you have your mate mm -hmm. so it just required a little bit of tweaking but that's the correct answer, Bishop G5. Very nice. Wow, that Darling was a toughie. Move. Yeah, a toughie to start, huh? <laughs> um, let's move on, Mr. Simagin. 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 Yeah, I'm not actually sure if it's Simagin or Simagin. I guess it's Simagin, but can you imagine? What, <laughs> what is Simagin? What White is going to do in this position here? Okay, so. Good. Um, let's see. So it's white to move. Very crazy. White to move. That was a real Imagine. game. Crazy. Yeah, and this is, yeah, yeah. And this is a real game as well from Moscow 1959. Um, uh, and he's white against Mushnik, who I don't know. And okay. it's white to play. So another crazy position, as we uh, know with uh, Simajin. Um, so can I ask, um, because I don't at the... Oh, now I see it. Okay, that was my question. I okay. thought, like, what is happening if I just take on b5? And the answer is, uh, there's only one move for black to defend, which is queen to e5. Uh, yes, because if king g6, then queen f5 is made. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're taking the pawn check. This is mate in two. And queen to e5. That's the only move. Now, what happens? Oh, gosh. Well, we could get two rooks like this, I guess which is funky. So let's, I mean, let's just play it for the sake of yes, it. Takes, takes. Um, then we take on F8. Yeah, so you win a rook, but now I'm thinking I take check. King G2. And something like rook A3. And if I win the A pawn, eh, I mean. Yeah, okay. Okay. You might not win, basically. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah okay. We we would get the e e five pawn two immediately, but but then there's it's a difficult, pin. Maybe. It's, it's not so clean. Yeah. No, no. It's a pin for for black then. Oh no! Yes, yeah, sorry. The pin yeah. on a two. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's. Um, but can I ask what happens if we take the rook on f eight first and we just sacrifice our queen? So no no I mean um, that's right. that's made. So we give a check on b5. The queen goes goes into e5, mm -hmm. and then we take on f8. I don't understand if I just check. A king g2. Yeah. Apart that, from the fact it might uh, be mate, I I don't even get it if I just take. <laughs> yeah. it. It's no mate. Right? Okay, never mind. Never mind. I just okay. wanted to check. I would just wanted to so check that's literally. That's unclear. Yes. So Good. that's unclear, right? Okay. That is unclear. Okay. Now let's give a check on H7. Have okay, another fun. check. I like it. King goes to G6, only move. 
Yeah. And problem is that's a check. Well, okay, let's give a check on e6, but then with the queen. But can the rook go in between? We don't even have to take on h7, maybe. Well, I mean, taking on h7 might be good anyway. I mean, we are two rooks down here. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> queen, it might be a draw magically, queen, but... Queen e7 is not an option mm -hmm. because, yeah, the king just goes there. Damn. I mean, I haven't completely understood whether this is a... Oh, no, king h8, there are no more checks, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there, yeah, there's no more checks. Hmm. Dang. But, you're, but we still... We, are, have... we have still some checks left. So what yes. about rook f5 check? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rook f5 check? Yeah. What are you, insane? Yes. Okay. What's the idea? Well, after taking on f5 easily, we okay. can give we have space to give a check on e8 with the queen. And maybe, so if you, if you take on f5, maybe this check on e8. Because the Ooh. king only has... Huh, the king has nothing king left. Has, king has nothing left, right? <laughs> well, that was an accident, but that was cool. That was a cool... It's, it's, all, <laughs> it's often nice to have cool accidents, right? What the... That is awesome. And so, look at this criss, crisscross mate. Yeah. Very funny. This was the very, very first idea I had is to go to e8 with the queen, but to to give a discovered. Yes. Uh, but it didn't work. No. So uh, once now again, we were looking for clues by thinking of this, having ideas. And this played in. This idea of getting the rook there actually played in because then I can get my queen to e8. Yeah. Funny. And if the king comes back, now, of course, the difference queen is we can e6, bring this queen. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, there will be mates here, you know, just to illustrate something like here, check, here, check, here, mate, yeah. is, is one move. Um, if, yeah, if the king comes back, obviously, it's just immediately mate. Mm -hmm. So rook f5, a very nasty backwards check, and I have to Beautiful. do something. Because you know what this reminds me of? <gasps> It reminds no. me of your own game. Yeah, I got to get that on the board. Let me just. Yeah, sure. It's I'm gonna true. just. It's true. I'm just gonna bring it up. So we we were checking this game out in one of the earlier episodes, and it is we actually were. the episode before we were having our special episode together with Leon Mendonca. Correct. And uh, because it happened in in Hamburg. It Can you was... see this position here? Yes. It is very, It is really similar. It's funny. That is why we do tactics yeah. for pattern recognition. That is why it took me a split second, maybe not a split second, but let's say five seconds to figure out that other one. My game against the one and only Yoni Karlstedt from the Hamburg Grandmaster Tournament. Yoni, he took the bait on A5. Take the pawn, Yoni. Go for it. Oh my! Such goodness. a beauty. Oh my! You know how much pleasure I got from from the. It was worth this everything, checkmate. right? Sometimes this it was is worth, worth everything. everything. The whole tournament. By the way, <laughs> I'm just going to comment on something slightly adjacent, please. But we've got a lot of German guys watching. Yeah. Frederick Spanner yes. has skyrocketed. I played him in this tournament. I was beating him in 20 moves with black. I then lost 177 move game, seven hours long game. My longest <laughs> ever game, both in moves and time. Since then, he got his Grandmaster Norm at this closed tournament and is now crushed, like doing extremely well at the German Masters. He He's got, here 2600. I he played him, he was 2480. Second place, and he beat his brother, who was always beating beat him. Brother. In Blitz yes. games, so they stopped playing at one point because it wasn't fun anymore. For really? Frederick. That's the story I heard. I'm not sure if it's true. I mean, I can believe it. So <laughs> Frederick Svane, the the local, what is he? He's a he's a Lubeckian, is he? Yeah. Now he's also playing for Hamburg. 
And he came second in that tournament. Yes, Is that true? Yeah, just behind Vincent Keimer. In the last game, they ended up with a draw. Vincent had one pawn more, but then Vincent was like, "Listen, let's have it a draw, and that'll that'll be that'll do." I mean, he could have pushed, but it looked very drawish after. And he's gaining like another twenty points. So from he's that he's over two thousand six hundred, and his That's brother ridiculous. his brother lost a little bit of feathers, so now he's almost on eye level with his brother Rasmus Van, another super strong player. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's how it happens sometimes, exactly. It is. Frederick's funny. So sometimes you need that little, and I'm glad I was the catalyst for all of his future <laughs> success. Because really, if I beat him, he doesn't make the norm. Who knows what the future holds? Now I can say, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Lawrence. For, okay. <laughs> for breeding mm. this superstar. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, but sometimes um, those are those games which are making a difference. Now, like jokes sure. aside, these are sometimes there is a special game which is a decider of how the next uh, ten games in life are going. It's true. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um. Hundred percent. Okay. So, back yeah. to Simajin. All right. Let's keep on going. I'll just uh, save this very quickly. Um. All right, we got to flip this one around. This is the game Olafsson against Simajin from the Moscow tournament 1959. Black to so play. Finally, Black is winning a game, maybe. Finally, well, maybe, yes. Let's give a check on F2, right? For starters. Okay, I mean, we so we're always to. looking for the checks. It's we the only to. check available. Yeah. And, okay. And uh, this is, as I can say, it like this is. So I became better in tactics in the last month due to our training only on Fridays, right. but it is already working out. It is really a thing. And one thing, and this is one of the most crucial things I have learned is um, to. And this is also I'm reading a beautiful one of my favorite books at the moment. It's called the. Uh, God, what is it called? It's called the puzzle, the puzzle book. Oh my goodness! It's from AJ Jacobs, yeah. and there is a know. way on how to decipher crypt, crypto, cryptological um, codes and something. Oh, and right. what you do okay. is you attack it. You attack the right. code. That's okay. that's the jargon for this. So by okay. attacking, you are getting clues. So right. you have to go for the checks, and you will get right. clues doing this. Right. That's all okay. I wanted to say. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a nice. Uh... It's awesome. Yes. It's a, it's okay. a very very good lesson because sometimes you stand or sit in front of your puzzle and you just like, I don't know what to do. I don't even know. But just give the freaking checks. Start yes. with that, and you will find clues by doing so. Often exactly. enough. Often enough. Not always, but often enough. So there's okay. the check. So we start with the check. Okay. So king has two spots. Yeah, the the king has two spots now. Let's start with king up here. Good. Now, this doesn't make much sense because you kind of walk into a check, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a mate, actually. So the knight goes to g4 check. If the king goes to h4, we just give a check on h2. And that... Oh, no, the queen is... Oh, no! no. Oh. Oh, the Not queen. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, let me re let me uh, back. step back. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Annoying. Good. Fine. Fair enough. So we don't do that. Let's uh, look at something else. Well, we would have a draw again, I guess. But hmm. we want a draw. No, we don't want to draw Lawrence. Okay. So what about when we go there and then we go there? Um, if we give a check on e4, meaning the knight taking on e4. Okay, so knight takes e4, taking a pawn with check. Yeah. Okay. Now if the king goes to h3, we go back again. And okay. I wonder if... This was helpful. <laughs> How does... Well, let's see. This is a brilliant line of investigation. You should always look 
to mm-hmm. see if removing a pawn because there's no so yes there's no downside it is watch. helpful it was helpful okay why knight g4 check now we do the same line again which we have done before we take on h2 with the rook and the king takes on g4 and now this pawn which was on e4 is gone so we give a check on d4 well done brilliant and we checkmate the nice white. that was okay so actually okay. that makes a big difference and if the king well if the king comes back here we know we can take the rook with check yes. so that's a mind square if the king comes back to f1 i think we will win because we just sacrifice our rook on d1 I, I would, or probably mm. no, it's just a check on d3, right? With the queen. It's even mm. easier. Yeah, this is this is clearly yeah, yeah. correct. That has to be and it. And then we have... Queen then we have another check. check on e3, yeah, or e4, or d4. Yeah, e3 is even better. E3 is better, yeah, because we can yeah. just take the bishop. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so... Okay, great. So actually, well, after knight f2 check... Unfortunately, yeah, that's the other part. But that should be easier, shouldn't it? Now we can give a check on h3 with the knight. Okay. So if king here? I guess we do the queen d3 check trick again. Yeah, queen d3 check is good. Rook f2 also is oh, yeah, pretty straightforward, true. right? That's okay, so good. that's leaving white's options very clear to king h1. Now, um, and here, hmm, yeah, okay, that is a bit different, damn. Mm-hmm. That is a little different. That's a check, that's a check, that's a check. So let's see if it's working. We give a check on d1 with the rook. We sacrifice it now. We take with the queen, and now we have to give a check on... Wait a second, wait a second. Are we doing the same thing again? No, we have to get the king in the corner, otherwise it won't work. So let's give a check on e2. And now on f1, the last check. Oh yeah, so now it's h5. (laughs) Well done, well done, well done. Nice. So if king takes... Queen h3 mate. Mate, and if queen takes... Then we give a check on e2. And we win the queen. Probably. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. the, the, the idea you had to see. But it's not over the, there. No. What about king g2 immediately? Aha. Uh-huh. Not so easy, my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Now we go knight f4 check. So we can play wow. queen d2 so check. Take, yeah, well done, Anna. Queen d2, but hold on, I'll put my king on a light square. I won't let you take on f4 with check. We know that's winning. Yeah, that isn't nice. Is it just g4 check? Let's see. Maybe not. Let's give it g4 check. Well done, Anna. Following the checks, you just always have to do this, just in case. Yeah. So on king, t- king takes g4. I guess rook g1 check. Mm, I mean that. Oh no no no! Rook, there's a no, f, no, f4. Rook, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah f4, take on f4. F4 is should should do it. Yes. End of the game. You take this bishop with check, and then you. Can yeah, wherever make... the king goes, we take the bishop. That yeah. is that's so the deal. I have to go. Bishop takes g4. And. That sh- was once again this opening spot for our queen to go to e3, I would say. Okay, king h4. And here we go to f2 check with the queen. Well done, spot on. The king spot goes on. to h3 and our rook ends the game. Well done, Right. and king h5. Uh, yeah, but after the rook gives a check, let's quickly do this because there is one last attempt. Our bishop goes to f3, right? Or yeah, the, but yeah. we not not really an attempt. We can just take and, and that's me. Yeah. Minutes. Holy moly! Yes, sir. I feel great. You feel, really did well. That I was excellent. Great. That's it's, a full. That's a full thing. It's so satisfying to solve a it's puzzle very every now and then. 
<laughs> it should also be pointed out that the very obvious Queen's XB6 doesn't work on account of Queen E7 check, and you have to repeat because you can't come out here because of mate. Yeah, that would be a beautiful mate. Yep. All right. Um, nice. Should we do some? Let's try um, to some get tactics. back to 2,550 because we lost some feathers the last time. We did. Yeah. Our let's, feathers let's got do ruffled. 10 minutes of these really bam, bam, bam let's until we get to it. a hard Let's one. go for it. But if we All do right. bam, 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 we will lose points. No, we won't. Let's look. We win a rook. <laughs> look at that. Simple. I don't even see anything yet. Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. I didn't share. <laughs> but apparently, we uh, already won a rook. We won. We won the so first one. So now we do it simple. blindly, which is amazing. <laughs> this one, we actually had something similar. Queen c8 and bishop c6 is very straightforward. Okay. Yes. Mate in one. Nice right. mate. Whoopsie, what's going on here? Okay. So we are Let's black, see. I'm assuming, and black is going. Yeah, we up. can always see it in the black dot on the down right yes. corner. Yes. Yes. So, yes. I mean, it, there is no other way. We have to give a check on C1, right? Yeah, and it's actually a pretty straightforward mate. Mate in. Yeah, walking yeah, around. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And then there's the pawn. Yeah, nice. Good, okay. good. Okay, a bit more difficult. Can we just take on f4 is the question. Maybe. Looks looks sensible is there, to is me. Is there anything which is stronger, though? I uh, like bishop takes f4, because then the bishop can come to e5 as well. Yeah, um, that's true. I don't... Giving the check allows bishop f1, so it, it, it is taking on f4. Let's try it. Is. Nice, and we take. It's, it's going to... Excellent. Okay. Okay, this one is very nice and very simple as well. A very nice pattern that um, is very intuitive. Um, is it just the knight to f6? Well, hold on. I'll... Ah, you want to do it immediately. That's kind of cute. Huh. And if bishop g7? That's annoying. Bishop g7 is uh, annoying. So yes. we take on, no, but what what happens? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, let's, we have to calculate quickly. So we take on G5 and well, they no. take back. Yeah. Um, and now we go with the, yeah, with, with the knight to F6, the bishop goes to G7. Yeah. And then the queen just goes to H5. Okay, good. Yeah, I, nice. yeah, yeah, we blocked that. Very cool. good. Cool. Okay, All now right. we are having a master level. Very nice. This is actually very simple. It took me two seconds tops. It actually, and I'm going to show you something. Oh, I, I think I see it though, but I'm okay. not 100% sure if it's that easy after all, unfortunately. No, it, it really is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for you at home, I hope you stare at the your glued to the screen as well, or you have your own tactics training because in the news section we are showing how to do that, and it's very nice, especially on the phone. Not just uh, on a side note. So I mean, I think your idea is uh, rook d7 check, right? No. Oh, rook d7 check's a big blunder. I take. And if rook takes king e6. King e6 is... And then we don't take on f7 with the knight? You, you can, but after king takes d7, knight takes h8, and then, I don't know, a move like knight h4 or something, it looks completely unclear to me. I mean, maybe white is better, but it's a lot of work. Uh-huh, okay. So are we just winning a pawn with exchanging the rooks and then we take on f7? No. Cannot be. No, again, similar kind of things. Wow. wow. So, okay, Lawrence, now you have to tell me. Explain, please, first. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. So, what, do you know what's really funny? I have to bring it up. Um, <laughs> Once again. And now we're yeah, seeing the game no, of you, won't you believe against. This. <laughs> you, won't, you won't believe this, but I'm going to have to screenshot a Twitter page. So, oh, funny. Hold on a second. Actually, this this uh, this is not the exact move. 
Um, damn. Uh, well, again, I, it's it's okay. Let 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 me let me see if I can do this because this is something s- slightly different that we don't very normally do. Yeah, yes. we we've been we've been going out of all of our norms today anyway. So this yes. is a super special episode. <laughs> okay, so Edward, we've got okay, we've got this. Well, my Edward. Yeah, he made some Fritz trainers recently. Very, very, very nice guy. Nice guy. In this position, he played the move bishop to d2 as white, which was met by the move oh, queen takes d2. Is so brutal. My okay. god. And the yeah. point is that after knight takes queen, Let's check rook mate. g5 is checkmate wow. in two moves. Wow. Now. Wow. <laughs> Now, if we go back to here, you understand why pattern recognition is everything in chess. What do I see here that I also saw to a certain extent in that other example? Uh, uh... Well, there is this idea of rook e4, but uh, we, right. would, we would be made. Yes. So obviously we can't play rook e4 immediately, but yeah. so I'm trying to find a way where we can. All right. So it's knight c6. Yes. Oh my goodness. Why didn't I see it immediately? That's so cool. Yes. And That's as I said. why we do tactics. Yeah. That's why we do tactics. Now that took me... I don't know. Yeah, seconds. Seconds. Wow. Very beautiful. Um, okay. And here and rook takes to But again, just pattern recognition. Mm-hmm. That's it. Not talent, pattern <laughs> recognition. <laughs> no. All right. That was rook that was e- a master level and we you you just yes. beat it. Very nice. Yes. So okay. So let's have a look. So, uh, ah, it is. Uh, is it queen taking on c7? It is, right? Correct. Well done. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Lovely. All right. We're on to the next. We're on a killing spree. We have the 2550. So that's We're good back. news. We're back on track again. Doesn't get easier, though. So this we is are also, black. This is very, very simple. Saw this in about a millisecond. Black to play. Yeah, you saw Mutants. this in the millisecond. Yes, hundred percent. No room for doubt. What? I am completely what? Oh no! What? No room for what? No room for doubt. Why am I not seeing that? I don't see it at all. Oh, now I see it. I think, is it rook f5? Well done. Rook f5. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It took a little bit. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, yeah. Queen is unprotected. And the point is that we're threatening here or rook (sighs) takes. And if you protect, carry on. Um, Queen f3 check, uh, rook h5. Well done. And that should be enough. There's no check from white, so that's good. Good. Let's go next. 1600. Okay. But there is, this... it's not as simple. It's um, simple. Well, uh, yes and no. <laughs> Hmm. Lawrence, you you know it already? No, you cannot. Of course I know it already. Huh? I'm, what? I'm a tactical genius. You should play chess very soon with that, <laughs> with that uh, spiritual <laughs> tactical power you have right now. Right. So is it D3 or what? D3 is the first move that I thought about, and I think it's correct. 
I'd be surprised if it isn't. Should we put it on the board? I don't know. I think we want to open up the king in general, so it makes a lot of sense in that in that way. Okay. Well. Well done. Okay. What now? Hey. <laughs> we take with the check or what of course we do yeah that's it and basically the idea here is that if the king goes to a1 we can just move the knight to e4 um, we can move it to e4 even i was looking at queen takes b3 if this is sufficient the idea being that pawn takes knight you can take check king here problem is b3 knight c2 is a problem that being said, it wouldn't surprise me if this position is still winning for black. Wow, Somehow, okay. for example, a move like knight here, trying to come in to d3 or c4. And like just to put the engine on. Yeah, it um, looks it looks fairly good, I have to say. I have to admit. Well, this one is actually winning for white, so oh. we have to be a little bit careful. So that's why I was saying here we don't have to do this. After king a1, exactly. Just simple chess knight e4. And black is winning, yeah, because after knight c1 protecting here, you can come in here. And now your next move is c4 anyway, or, or a move like bishop g3. Ah, bishop g3 is the yeah. killer. That's the yeah. killer and move. All kinds of, all kinds of I don't moves. think that was so easy, but good. No. But, all right. Okay. Two more. Yeah, two more. So, okay, this is a terrible endgame study we have. We're black. We yeah. are so, black. So, we would love to put the king on g3 or e3, but there's a knight f5 check. Yeah. So what about if we take on d5? Easy as that. Because we're and in the... Knight don't, don't do it now, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> knight, and if f5? knight f5. Ah. Um, annoying. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Is it annoying? I'm not so sure. Oh, wait a second. So, okay, you tell me that take, 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 take. No, it's not winning. Boom. Boom. Because, oh, is it? It is, right? Lawrence, is it? It is endgame, yeah. right? So we yeah. take we take everything, and then we win with the last pawn. No, Anna. No, bad boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get really criticized by chat. Come on, man. Rook takes d5, knight f5, taking everything. That's a drawn king and pawn ending. The king has to be in front of the pawn. Endings 101. Okay, I was really, I thought there was like a tempo because of the double pawn, but uh, no. apparently. But root no, takes d5 no. is correct as the first move. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is correct as the first move. That is correct. And then, okay, yes. so what happens if our rook goes to d2 then after that? Ah, so knight f5, rook d2. Putting white in Zugzwang, yes. And then the point is now if knight d6, we can take it. What about a move like knight h6? Our king goes to e, d, g, oh, yes. yeah, g3. Exactly, because we're hitting the bishop. And then if knight f5 check, we can just take the bishop and it's an easy win. Yes. Uh, so that's correct. Well done, yeah. And the oh, same with knight okay. h4. Is, it, it's wait, the same uh, 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 is this the exact same thing? Y yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Do we take the bishop? Is there any stalemate shenanigans? No, because the knight can't give check. So okay. there's no stalemate. Okay, so we let's take the bishop then. That's it. One more, one last one. We get it. We get. Oh, no. We can get two thousand five hundred and sixty now. We can do it. Yeah. Well, this one is. It looks so easy, right? But it cannot be. Um... It is. Can I tell no. you? I can tell you. It's. Okay. It is super easy. 
Yeah, so the bishop yeah. goes to b8, the king goes king to a8. a8, the bishop goes to c7. Yeah, king a7. Actually, no, the bishop takes c8. That's the trick. Ah. Okay. Uh... And we're in check here, by the way. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't want to like ruin the the fun. The fun, because that's a bit of a ruination. But well, we are how, in check. how terrible is that? We have th we we have three move two moves actually only. I mean, it cannot be rook c two or it cannot be bishop e four, can it? So I don't know. You tell me. So the king has to go to a one or c one. Okay, and if I take the rook. Um, then I, I will tell you what happens if you <laughs> take the rook. <sighs> what? what? I, I, oh, wow. This is killing me. This <laughs> I am. I've, I think white is lost. <laughs> you think what is that? That is huh? so crazy. Why is that happening? So first of all, okay, let's go to a one. Then the then black takes the rook. Our queen goes to f eight. Is the only thing I see. But then there's e two. And next move is checkmate. So right. how on? Okay, so we have to go to e7 with our queen and threaten checkmate. It's not even a checkmate because the stupid bishop is on c8 <laughs> protecting b7. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? What is this? I think you ruled out a move at the start, which I was kind of surprised that you, you ruled it out so... So it is rook so c2 or what? No, I don't think... I think it's bishop e4. Bishop e4. So you can't the bishop take the doesn't take the rook. Yeah. Oh, my good. Okay, let's see. Wait, that's interesting. So no, 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 don't move it, please. Okay, I won't bishop, play it. Bishop e4. <laughs> bishop yeah. takes e4, check. King a1. And okay, what happens after e takes f? No, okay, so let's go to e2 with our black. Yeah, and, and this is where you've got the very important rook a8 check. King takes a8, queen f8 check, and queen b8 mate. Do you love me? Is that the case? Of course I yeah. love you. Don't ask those stupid questions, honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Is that... There's no... My God, that is crazy. Bishop e4 takes check. King a1. Is there anything... Okay, so what happens if the bishop goes back to e4? It's not working. No, we still have the same thing. If the bishop goes back Good. to f5, okay. we have the same trick. So what happens if the queen goes to... What happens if the queen goes to... Oh. Is this, to block is this that really check. it? I think yeah, and if the queen be... goes somewhere random, also the bishop is hanging on e4. Okay, I think we... Let's do it then. Do it. A rook a8. It's. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> They're going to mouse, mouse, mouse me like that. Slip. The They're going to mouse, mouse slip. slip. Okay. That's. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm, I'm, I'm not accepting that. <laughs> Beautiful diversion. <laughs> uh, back rank tactics. Yeah. Ah, uh, well done. Wow, you were on freaking fire today. I was Lawrence. I was on fire today. I was My on goodness. fire. Today. It's I probably hope, the glasses. 
<laughs> yeah, I need some too, by the way, soon, uh -huh. maybe. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, we're all getting oh. older. I hope you at home have your glasses set on, your vision is clear, your tactics are sharp. If not, study, study, study. We see each other next week. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye, guys. bye. Bye.